Flooding streets are a problem that plague many people in Hampton Roads. But one group of neighbors in Portsmouth believes the city is to blame for their issue. The ditch behind their homes in Bidewee Manor, right behind the golf course, is always full of water, and every time it rains, their street floods. And after months of trying to get the city to fix it, they turn to 10 on your side, Stephanie Harris, for help. Yeah, well, when the ditch behind your home won't drain and the smell just about knocks you out, you know that there is a problem. Neighbors complain to the city, sharing with 10 on your side their emails and frustrations, dating all the way back to May. The smell, it's horrid. As bad as it is. It smells like somebody may have died back here in this water. <laughs> it's really gross. The smell coming from this ditch is a secondary concern for neighbors in Bidewe Manor. But when it when it's raining, the water stops up in the in the drains right here, real bad. Then it starts going up in the yards and stuff. Just look at these pictures taken during Hurricane Matthew in 2016. The flood water lingered for days, destroying two of Karen Shackley's cars and costing Tammy Hyde $55,000 in home repairs. I can't afford another repeat of that. I'll probably just have to say goodbye to my house if that happens again. And they fear that's a real possibility because of this. This water is here all the time. We, I don't remember the last time I see that there's no water in this ditch. They've asked the city repeatedly to clean it out and check on the drains. Ten on your side asked the city for a copy of all complaints for service over the past two years. Of the more than 500, nearly 10 percent came from this one neighborhood. So, ten on your side stepped in, and about two days later, we found the problem. We can we can fix it. Well, that was fast. So, Mayor John Rowe, what's the problem? We have found that there's a broken sewer. Rose said crews walked the entire ditch line and found the issue. We asked why they didn't do it back in May. Why did it take 10 on your side getting involved? I find it refreshing that 10 on your side um, is there because it helps us solve problems. And apparently there are a lot of them. Those 500 complaints filed? Well, Rose says that number may actually be low. Hampton Roads as a whole, he says, has big issues when it comes to flooding streets because we're so flat. I mean, it would be really neat to have curb and gutter in every neighborhood with sidewalks. And that would mean that there would be storm drainage underlying, underground. You wouldn't see it. But Rowe concludes that would cost thirty to $50,000 per mile of sidewalk. He maintains the city does clean ditches and drains on a regular schedule and had recently cleaned the ditch at Bidewe. I mean, we're not dodging problems. We, we want our city to be the best place to live. Sometimes it just takes time, he says, to pinpoint the cause, but they did and now they'll fix it. He just can't say when or how much it will cost. I just want what my tax dollars pay for. Now, the mayor urges anyone with an issue in the city to go online and file a complaint or just go directly to him or the city manager. Ten on your side will, of course, be watching and will continue to ask questions until that sewer line at Bidewee gets fixed. Stephanie Harris, Ten on your side.